Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. James Billing here for those that love sound, music and stuff. It's a sound one track, one library today featuring Sonuscore's Nordic Spheres. Sonuscore have done it again. They've produced a fabulous um, instrument here. So this is basically what it says on the tin. It's, it's almost like a coldy atmospheric engine. It's fabulous. It's interesting. And if you like sound, you're going to love it. So what I've done. Me being me, one track, one library, I've written a track featuring this instrument to this picture. It's a black hole. I know. I could have gone down the frozen sort of Icelandic route, but I thought, no, far too obvious. I like space. So I'll show you the instrument. I only really scratched the surface of this instrument by writing the track. Um, and I'll show you how deep you can go with it. And it's it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, so here we go. Without further ado, here's Nordic Spheres. Okay, folks, this is Nordic Spheres. You've got one NKI for the contact player, and this is exactly how it comes out of the box. It's atmosphere, it's cold, it's, it's interesting, and it moves. So I'm just going to play a single D. And as you can see, on the GUI, you have four little circles. These are your cores, these are your engines, these are different sounds. Uh, uh, at the minute, we've got a mysterious waterphone, ghostly key hop, two celeste and chandelier particles. Of course they do. Um, so the top two ones, you can press them and select tonal, tonal effects, non-tonal effects and percussive. Let's pick, I don't know, bottles loop. Um, and you can do the same one with this top right. Uh, let's go tonal effects. Let's go cluster voices. I like cluster voices. And then the bottom, you have hits, particles, and sustains. So uh, let's go particles, drops on metal. That's quite fun. Um, let's do this one. Uh, let's do sustains. Um, what's down here? Trembling pad. That sounds fun. See what we've got. Here's the D. Okay, isn't that fun? And uh, if I press the D with moving the mod wheel, here we go. It does stuff. More about that in a minute. Um, so just to explain the, the GUI before we leave this page, um, you've got octave octaves up here as you can see um, it's changing the the keyboard layout for bottle soup um, go up down you can do all of that so um, you have solo and mute buttons this is the solo it's just the bottle ones and if I unmute it uh, let's just uh, mute the bottles yeah and what I really like about the GUI is if you're if something's active, it has this sort of graphics doing stuff. I really quite like that. Nice. Um, just here is your browser. Um, you have spheres, which is basically pads, pulses, pulses animated, which is motion, um, granular synthesis, sequencing. But um, let's pick one. Weathering Heights. I like Weathering Heights. pick some let's pull let's do a pulse tara they've they've got very cool nordic names as you can tell oh, that's nice. uh, the next one this one calling home Even, I mean, I haven't fiddled with any settings yet. I'm just doing presets and I'm I'm liking it. Uh, distorted, let's go distorted, treacherous. It's quite treacherous. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce this. Well, 
Right. Um, very cool. Uh, let's go back to um, I made pulses, and uh, let's have evolving. What was that? Distorted massa. Formula One driver. That's a lot of fun. What will? Aha, down the river. Right, what's the mod wheel doing? I hear you ask. I will tell you. Now, let's solo this one. So the tugboat loop up here. Um, interesting enough, uh, Sonoscore teamed up with, I think it's Pole Position, the company, um, to do this uh, instrument. And they were involved in, in um, sounds for Dunkirk, I I believe. And this tugboat sound um, was recorded on the River Thames. And I think it was, uh, yeah, it was all part of the, the soundscape for, for Dunkirk, I think, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's go under the hood. Now, let me just find a pad and I can show you, I don't know, be prepared. What's this? That's fairly fun. Let me show you what you can do with the engine. Let's solo this. Oh, no, and let's pick um, bucket pad. Now, if you go to press these three, here is your sample uh, of the bucket pad. Now, you've got a light blue here, and you've got a, a red line here, and these determine uh, what point of the sample is going to be played. Okay. Now, if you look back down here, this is your sequence bar. And you have two. You have an A and a B. Now, B is the height of the mod wheel. And that is where that little light blue line is. So wherever I put this light blue line in, if my mod wheel is high, it's going to play there. There. See? If I move the sample over here, it's going to just constantly play at the top of the mod wheel. Now, if I lower it, it's going to go towards the red one. Or the orange one. Yeah. And likewise, if I go to A, this is where the bottom of the mod wheel will be. So if I wanted the bottom of the mod wheel to be here, yeah. And if I go to B, you can see already, if I'm at the top, I'm going to stay up the top on the line. And if I come down, I'm going to hover round and not quite get to the bottom of the little orange um so you can you can go crazy you can do all sorts of stuff like that yeah it's a lot of fun hence why when you move the mod wheel your sound changes because depending on how long the sample is and what what the sample's got in its content. Um, so you can have an awful lot of fun. You've got a, a stutter here. Um, um, let's go that, that, that. Some steps eight. There you go. So if I go, let's change the mod wheel up here. Quicker, shall we? Yeah, change the mod wheel. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and this little thing um, determines where. Um, and this little, you know, the four dice thing, uh, is basically your engines for each sound source. So this one is the wheelbarrow button. Let's do something fun with that. I've just realized that needs to be turned back on. Let's just put the octaves back down, maybe a bit lower. That's quite nice, isn't it? 
go back let's turn the others on so down here if you see on the bottom here you've got options uh this is not no movement let's um let's just actually solo you it's just how i want to get an arpeggiator or an envelope so let's go to an arpeggiator Here we go, zigzag, um, I don't know, up and down. And this is obviously volume based. Let's have some more steps. Here we go, let's go quicker. Okay, you can transpose down here. Quite fun. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can do quite a lot, and you've got the same thing with here. Let's move that one there. I mean, it's just me being silly, but you get the idea. You can. That's, this is going to be the lowest. And so you, you get the idea. So uh, if we now go to this one, this is the marimba. Let's solo this one and find something fun. Let's make that quicker. up a bit there we go uh let's i know it's going to sound weird because it's been transposed a bit yeah <laughs> it's weird let's turn everything on here we go i'm going to just play this Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, slightly weird. Anyway, um, that's how much silliness you can get in it. Um, sorry, let's just solo the bucket pad just to show you the panning engine. Uh, again, depending on what you have lit up of these four cores, um, the panning is going to be affected. So let's just light up as it were that top one. And this is the pan engine. Let's go a bit quicker. So let's do that, 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 that. Yeah, even more obvious. Yeah, and if I wanted this one for, I don't know, everything else, so let's turn let's turn the solo off. If I wanted pan engine two for all of the others, you just light them up, and I don't know, go the other way like that. Let's go sixteenth again. Yeah, sort of subtle. Not really subtle. Let's just go crazy. Yeah. And you can change them. Yeah, I like that. Um, one thing to just point out as well, under all of these, uh, you have uh, your attack sustains and all that. Um, you also have on your F FX, you have the grain size. You can go a little bit crazy with the grain size. Let's go bucket pad solo uh, grain size. Um, which is fairly cool. Now, anything with motion is mod wheel based. So as you can see, oh dear, 
as you can see, I'm moving the mod wheel. But if I do that, it'll affect the grain size as well. Yeah, you can also set how much of that moves. So let's go that way. Let's go that way. In fact, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, if you want it inverted, press it, this button. Yeah, so I'm going down, but it's going up. All of that. Um, you have EQ, you have saturation. Let's motion that. Let's turn that on. Uh, let's chorus. Turn the chorus. I'm just going crazy at the minute. Yeah. Mix. Phase. Anyway, uh, and you've got a trem. Um, uh, so it's all a lot of fun, really, isn't it? Um, density is all to do with... silence in between each grain and random and this is uh times timed so that's pretty cool random position so that's pretty cool actually got even more weird <laughs> um anyway uh you get the idea so uh mix here we go you've got delays you've got reverbs um and pannings here as well so let's turn everything up let's pan that anyway there let's pan that there let's pan that all the way to the left and pan that all the way to the right okay uh you can uh assign the delay to motion here you go Invert it if you want. All of that. Uh, reverb levels. Uh, you can you can always assign these to other things. So let's assign this to this one. So this is a different one. So this is just the mod wheel, but I'm going to also affect the reverb to this. And likewise, I'm going to do this one. Yeah, pretty cool. You've got to compress uh, your delay options. All fairly cool. And here are your reverb choices. Um, lots of pretty cool um, impulse responses, actually. Right, play. Saturated. That's nice, isn't it? Distorted. Oh, that's really nice. Distorted delay. Oh, very cool. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, settings you can uh set uh your CCs to everything and you know, all that. Um, so there you go. Uh, lots of fun to be had, and you can get quite deep. So obviously I've just created this weird thing and I can uh, save it as a snapshot. Call it JS Weird. Oops. Weird Cave. And there you go. And also under the snapshots, you have all of the things that um, are within the browser. So animated pulses and spheres, initialize, which is really helpful, and you can create your own from scratch. There we go. None, 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 none. Nothing. But lots of prettiness. So Nordic Spheres, Sonus Score. Um, if you like atmosphere, if you like sound, if you like creating weird things, as I do, 
uh, again, you're going to love it. Uh, let me show you what I very quickly did as a track. So what I did with all of these, these are all presets, again, that I've just tweaked to my liking and taste. And so uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, the first track, uh, the first one, this uh, was uh, Brett, again, I can't even pronounce it, but I just wanted some sort of bass around a C. I then had a pulse going, which was heading out. Um, I then uh, wanted some sort of uh, rhythmic device. And I had this, I called it a bass, but it's actually divisions. And I just had little snapshots of it, like that. And then used the mod wheel to, um, to make it interesting. Isn't that cool? I fell in love with that sound. And in fact, I used it down here as a full um, track. Go if I just play you this one. And as you can see, the mod wheel is just changing a bit. I also reset the some of the reverbs. Because you'll hear that's quite close and this one isn't. Yeah. So together you had this. Just, just gave it some sort of fun, bassy thing. Now, and because it was the black hole, he says, um, I wanted some sort of ARP thing. Which was, I suppose, a little nod to Interstellar, if you've ever seen it. Uh, which was this. Joplin's Diner. Drop a Steiner. You dropped a Steiner? Anyway, so lots of Celeste. Yeah. And I think I, I muted the chandelier. But anyway. Um, uh, so that was my little nod to Instella. Uh, I had this nice pad at uh, Wuthering Heights, no less. Just tweaked a tiny bit. Now I had this little sequence. Which I really quite liked. Um, and then this tune, I'll call it a tune. So it was this one. Um, tentacles. I quite like this. And I've played you that bass. And then the uh, little bell tones that I had. Quite synthy. But it provided something. And that's basically it. I'll just play a very, very short uh, snippet of this. Yeah. Sort of layered, layered black hole goodness. So uh, I then bounced it all down. And these were my bounces. These are my bounces. As you can see, there's a sort of a little, looks like a final hit. But all this is, is one of those little bell tones, low. I reversed it and then put it through the black hole reverb. And this is just so you can hear it. You might have to turn your volume up. But here we go. Just something to finish it off. Anyway, so this black hole thing was just to give me a sort of an inspiration to start. Uh, Gave me a little nod towards Interstellar. So, folks, this is Nordic Spheres in Space.
So there we go. So folks, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this, give it a like. If you like what I do, please, please, please subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the future. So Sonoscore, I'm a huge, huge fan. And Nordic Spheres, yet another great, great instrument that I will be using quite frequently, I expect. Stay well, everybody. Stay safe. I will see you very, very soon for, a, yes, another sound stuff thing.